when we're looking for teams, there's a couple things that we're looking for, and the teams is the most important criteria when we're evaluating a company. Uh, one, just like 28MSEC, we're looking for teams that have been proven to work together. We're looking for deeply technical teams, and ideally double threat teams, that are able to both execute strongly on the technology side and on the business side. And we're looking for teams that are old enough to be wise and young enough to be dangerous. Uh, this next team fits that bill to a T. There's nobody, I think, in the world who understands batch processing as deeply as this next team does. And that's just the beginning of a much wider opportunity that they are going after. So without further ado, please welcome Patty from 47 Line. I got my mind. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paddy Raghavan, co-founder of 47 Line, where we are building products to simplify enterprise cloud access. Imagine Joe is the CEO of a large enterprise. Joe's company is generating more data than ever, but the window with Joe to process this data is shrinking. Joe believes, and rightly so, that cloud computing is a game changer and an answer to his data processing problem. Joe is totally excited, and he takes the call to switch to cloud. However, once inside cloud, Joe and his team are overwhelmed with the sheer number of services and the integration required around these services. In fact, with just AWS, there are close to 40 different instance types just on compute to factor, and there is the additional complexity with regards to spot instance bidding and management. Joe is also grappling with issues around security, cost control, compliance, and access control. In short, Joe realizes that cloud is complex. So what does he do now? What are his options? One, he could cut his loss and go back to his old data center ways. Not really great. Or he could continue to live with a complex situation, adding more people, time, and money with no real value. Or Joe is wondering if there is a way where he could take out the complexity but still get the benefits of cloud. Enter Batchly. Batchly helps enterprises like Joe's achieve data processing nirvana in cloud. So how does it work? With Batchly, all Joe's IT or DevOps team have to do is, whether it is batch processing, map reduce jobs, or data processing jobs, all they have to do is define their data processing job, define their SLA in terms of how much time they have to process the job, and at what price they would like to process the job, and that is it. Behind the scenes, Batchly will identify the right instance types, bid and manage spot instances, handle infrastructure failure automatically, monitor for application level failure, and send alerts, thus post-processing cleanup, and also gives exhaustive reporting. End-to-end, -end, dead simple. Batchly's continuous learning algorithm understands a lot of parameters, market parameters, system parameters, and user parameters and makes every subsequent job run better for both cost and time. For those of you who like analogies, we call it the nest for data processing. The Batchly interface is simple, straightforward, and intuitive. It helps you run the data processing job, but also gives access to information around the cost and the savings as well. In terms of the impact, for a financial services customer that ran a pilot on Batchly, they were running end-of-the-day transaction records, PDFs that were getting printed for the transaction that happened through the day. Batchly reduced their data processing time from 12 hours to 50 minutes at extremely low TCO and with over 70% savings on on-demand cost. That's like huge business value. The big opportunity that we are going after today, enterprise data processing in cloud, all the big players have factored a lot of uh, data processing solutions on the cloud. And our goal is to be the single interface for all enterprise data processing workloads. Today, we have full support for AWS as a platform, and we are adding support for Azure Batch and Dataflow from Google as well. Customer traction, we've successfully ran three POCs, and we are in serious discussions with running five more POCs. And our plan is to have 15 paying customers by the end of 2015. In short, we are just taking off with our customer traction. Our business model. We have a flat annual subscription fee and a percentage, a usage fee, which is going to be a percentage of the infrastructure spend. Team behind 47 Online, thanks a lot for the intro, Ravi. That was great. So we've been working in the cloud space for the last six years. 
We've been working together for the last six years, one of the earliest adopters of AWS globally. In fact, we built some of the early POCs of the AWS evangelization teams, and the simple monthly calculator that you still see on that site was built by our team members. Some of the team members, all their life, they've been programming only in cloud, and we come with a cloud-oriented thinking. In summary, for enterprise data processing, cloud is great. That's what we've realized from our experience, but it's too complex with the way it is today. And that's where we're building Batchly to make it easier for enterprises to tap into the power of public cloud. And we have the right team with the right experience and expertise to make this happen. We are 47 online, building products to simplify enterprise cloud access. If cloud computing is an area of interest, I would love to talk more. <laughs>